Hi, I'm Jo Locke. Today, I'm going to share with you a dim sum restaurant miniature that I made. Um, this one is um, actually made mostly to the description by the manufacturer. However, the customization are more on the dim sum itself. So let me just show you um, what the um, package from the manufacturer is and what I did um, to the miniature. Okay, this is the package that the miniature came from, and this is the model. They came in three different styles. Um, they are all different kind of restaurant, but then I like this one because it's uh, specifically it's the Ningnan style dim sum. And um, I mostly made the restaurant according to instructions which is in um, just a piece of paper, but then the uh, a lot of the pieces are pre-cut. So it's, although it takes a little bit of time, but then it's not hard to make. So you can see in my um, building. So let me just take out the, all the furniture, so show you. Uh, yeah. So this is the, building that I made according to the instructions. And most of them are basically pretty to par. So whatever the manufacturer suggests, I basically do it um, according to what they suggest. There are a few changes that I made. So let me show you. Uh, the first one is that in the restaurant, behind the um, um, kind of like the, the label, the, the, the store sign, uh, what they did is there are three, four words there and it say Sai Guan Feng Mei, which is basically the taste of Si Guan. Um, I change it, I change it into, I actually, you know, like use uh, Chinese calligraphy and change the four words. And I put that in the same location and um, it basically say, you know, like the customer are floating in like clouds. So meaning that the uh, there are lots of business for the restaurant. And I also changed the color to red because I think it's a lot more attractive than what is originally suggested. Another thing is, I think that the door sign and then these four words are kind of competing with each other. So instead of putting it on, on top of the first floor, I actually put it up to the uh, ceiling. I mean, the second top of the second floor. So this is also something that I changed. Instead of here, I put it here. All right, and then another major change that I um, did is actually the um, windows. In the original design, what they did is we just have the windows, uh, which is just paper. And then when the light shine through, although it's uh, already very pretty, but then I think I want to increase the shine. So I'm not sure whether you can see it clearly, but then basically what I did is I actually cut out the square on where the um, window would be, and then I replace it with thin rice paper. So um, it's not as prominent before the lighting, but when I light it up, let me just show you. Okay. When I light it up, you'll probably see that the, there are actually more light shining through from behind. So I do think that that is a big improvement to show the kind of like the illumination on the second floor. And the same thing here in the door sign, it was just thin paper. Uh, but then what I did is I cut out the um, blank areas and um, replace it with the rice paper. So it's a lot more shine and the shine through is, um, I think it's a lot better. So, so this is what I changed. Another thing that I changed is actually the um, lantern. The lantern, uh, what was given to me were just a red plastic ball. So what I did is I also used rice paper. This time I used the red rice paper to cover it. So from a distance, it looked a lot more elegant than red plastic. And there are minor changes such as the flower pot. I um, also changed a little bit of the arrangement. So I think that it's, um kind of a, a more realistic design. And with some leftover wood from the furniture, I also added a kind of like a planter uh, and put some of my leftover, um, you know, like things that I collected and um, 
just make another planter. And one more thing is that the um, let's see how oh, this yeah, in the um, on the side of the building, what they have given me is they give me you know like little little dry kind of like vines, and um, it's for putting on and putting on to the um the side of the building to make it look like wine climbing up, which is okay. But then what I did is I actually went to my silk flower, cut up some of the leaves and then uh, put them on. I think it's look even more 3D. So so those are, you know, a little bit of, you know, minor arrangement that I did for my um, little building. So the building, you know, for the base, it looked like this which as I say is very similar to what the original design is. And, you know, these are all to par, you know, what they suggested with minor changes on the leaves, minor changes on the um, lantern. I changed the placement of the door sign and also the windows, right? But, um, that person here, without the light, it looked like this. So, um, but the main thing is actually the dim sum. That's the reason I bought the set anyway. And let me just show you what we did. Okay, this is the segment that the manufacturer showed me on the dim sum directions. So basically, um, what the manufacturer gave me are this. They gave me two little putty, a yellow one and a white one. And then they are air dry putty, so you don't have to bake it. You just um, mold it into the shape and then they will air dry hard, right? And then what the suggested shapes are basically two kinds. You roll it into balls and then because you have two color, you have yellow and uh, white. So you can have white balls, you can have yellow balls. And then from the balls, if you like, you can knit them into various shapes. So they would look like bao bao, right? So it could be different kind of buns and they would, you know, according to this, they would say that, you know, like the white one would be um, uh, the lotus seed bun and then the yellow one would be the custard bun, right? And then you also roll out the yellow one, roll them into maybe flat squares and then line them up and they would look like, for example, steam cake, right? And then if you roll them up and then um, uh, into little rolls, then they will look like spring roll. So basically what the manufacturer suggested, if you look at it closer, they are mainly yellow and white, either balls or rolls. And I have to say that, you know, that is cute, but honestly, um, when you go to a, a dim sum restaurant, that would be quite boring. And since I am a lover of dim sum, so what I'm going to show you is what I made for the um, different kind of dim sum. And um, I have actually taken one of these uh, flyer from a dim sum restaurant. So, yeah. so from a regular dim sum restaurant. And these are kind of like the selections that they have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some of the ones that I really like and I'll show you what I made into. So here. All right, these are some of the dim sum that may be offered in a restaurant. So these are the ones that I made. Maybe this is the one that they want us to make, but these are the one that I made. And this, and I'll show you what I did. Okay, Let, let's see this one. This one, uh, we do like some bao bao. So uh, I have white one. I also have a kind of like a orangey one and I also have another one that is more like a triangular shape and I also made one that has a dot on it 
The reason is sometimes when it's come to bao bao, um, as I say, they have lotus seed, they may have um, red bean. And, you know, like in order to differentiate them, sometimes some restaurant will actually put a little red marking on the one that is, for example, is red bean. And the one with bao marking would be um, lotus seed. And the one with maybe a, um, you know, an other decoration would be another kind of stuffing. So I have three different kinds. So they are still, you know, pretty easy. They are just little white balls, right? And then on this one, what I did is I add color to it. And the color that I add, basically I just go to my art supply, find a pretty small brush, and then pick up the color of acrylic that I want. And um, depends on what kind of color that I want. And instead of using a lot, you only need to use a dot of the paint and knead it into the white dough and make them into the shape that you want. For example, okay, kneading it into um, a little ball shape and this will be um, maybe a kind of sweet bun, right? And then let me show you what I did. I have siu mai. Siu mai is a steamed dumpling with pork and on the top of it, they usually put egg raw. And um, so the top is usually kind of orangey. So this is the siu mai that I made. And this one is steamed spare rib. Steamed spare rib, um, what I did is I cut them into, um, cut the white dough into little uh, rectangular square. And then what I did is I put red beads and red beads would represent, for example, red pepper. And then I also put a little bit of the green, um, uh, the one that they gave me for the side of the building. I actually used them as, for example, like little Reggie. And then on the bottom, you'll see that it look, I have something that looked like a piece of lettuce. And the lettuce, um, okay, it's actually from here. This is a small piece of uh, paper rope that you can buy in a craft store. And I bought the one that is light green in color. And what you do is this is paper rope. You basically un unwind it. And when you unwind it, because they're made of paper, they are paper rolled up. You see how much it looks like lettuce? So you un you un un unwind a paper rope that you bought from a craft store, get the light green one that look like lettuce anyway. And then this, don't flatten it too much, flatten it, you know, a little bit. So that really look like lettuce. So here I have the steam basket lined with letters before I put the spare rib, red pepper, and also green parsley on top, right? So, um, and then this one, this one could be a sign of, um, steamed um, dim sum. And uh, what I did is I actually used the leftover of this color and the leftover of this color, and then I layer them and cut them into three little square. Um, and a lot of times when you come to dim sum, they come in three, four or five pieces. And with the inflation, actually most of the time when you see dim sum, they usually come in a dish of three instead of four. So um, I have more. And this one, also they are roll, but then instead of just um, little roll, this is what we call a vegetarian roll. And inside they would have um, mushroom and um, different kind of vegetable in it. And then what they did is they actually roll um, in tofu skin and steam it. So what I did is the same thing. I obviously don't have to do the inside, but then basically I use this color, add a little bit of brown to it, roll that up into thin sheet, and then um, just like making the roll, I um, also roll that up as well. Um, this one is kind of interesting. Let's see if we can get it on focus. Uh, yeah. 
Let's see. Um, it's so bear with me. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, if you go to the craft store and buy little things that look like this, okay, these you make you go to the one that makes silk flowers or even flowers for weddings, then pick the yellow one because what they are, they are actually inside of the flower. They are they are for making fl silk flower. And then these, when you roll them up, they are actually the inside of the flower. They are the uh, statement and the filament for the flower. And what they really are, let me see if I can get it into focus. They are basically um, little, pieces of crystal on the end of um, the rope, right? And they do look like center of the flower. However, if you get the yellow one and you cut it around here, cut it around here, what you get is this. And this, um, not sure where you can tell, they actually look like fried shrimp tempura. So what I did is the same thing. I have this as a piece of lettuce on the bottom. And then I have the green as parsley. I put three of this and stick them um, kind of like this side down. So they do look like shrimp tempura. And that would look like fry, a, a, a dish of fried shrimp, right? And let's see what we have here. Okay, this one. This little dish, the white one, would be what came with the package. However, um, let's see here. I'm not sure whether you can see it clearly. But then basically, they do give us one of this dish. But then I think it looks kind of boring and not that appetizing. So what I did is I used some red beads and I put, put it on top of it. And I also added a few more of my uh, brown color. So they look like soy sauce on top of maybe um, some steamed noodles. And then the red one would be like, interpret a red pepper or even, you know, like different kind of food that is red. So, so that looks pretty good, right? And then last but not least, I have these two. And um, this one are basically what we call the steamed beef ball. So the same thing here, I have the lettuce on the bottom. I have the green one as part, I mean, as parsley. And these honestly are all the leftover from different things that I've done. And I just roll them all up because, uh, to make this dirty color. So um, they do look like kind of like a beef ball. Um, and then the pink one. And what I did is I cut up this green, um, I mean, representing parsley, this green paper, and then I knit them into my paint dough. And by having that, then you will have little pieces of green that show up inside. And that would be interpreted as, for example, a gao choi gao, a um, shrai steam bowl, okay, or shrai steam dumpling, right? Uh, last but not least, what I did is I, um, um, kind of like pull some thread from a piece of cloth, swirl them up, and by doing that, then these look like noodles. And then I also cut um, little pieces of um, little eraser that has red and white on it, and then they do look like crab meat. So um, that are the little dim sum that I made, which I think is a lot more interesting than the yellow and white balls that we are suggesting. So this is my dim sum table. And last but not least, what I did is I also enhanced the various look by, you know, for example, these are actually grass beads and I picked the green one, grass beads that are circular, then they will represent, for example, like teacups. These, that is more like a tea drop shape. I um, put them upside down and then I put little dry flower on top so they do look like vase and I have a repeat of that 
little bit of teacup and the vase. And the same thing here. And this little teapot, uh, it came with the package. This little cup also came with the package. And here, these two things I add, this is nothing more than just a thin black wire. And I just cut two of them up of the same length. So they look like chopsticks. And then on here, um, what I did is, is a small piece of sequin that I turn it upside down and then I put some brown felt onto it and they do look like a little dish of soy sauce. Oh, I actually have one more uh, dim sum table. Okay, this dim sum table, the same thing here. I have two wire cut into the same length and they represent um, a pair of chopsticks, a little glass bead to represent a cup. And then here I have two more steamed uh, dim sum. And this one is nothing more than uh, the white bun rolled into the shape of dumpling. And then I just add a little bit of orange and red color on top. Okay. And this one is an other interpretation of, say, for example, the steam ribs. So I will also have the let lettuce, you know, which is from this green paper on the bottom. And then I will have white and um, some of the pink one and some of the brown one, which is kind of left over from this. So um, different one. And then I use a pair of scissors and cut them into little shape. So they do look like ribs cut into little shapes and it looked like a little jar of steamed ribs. And in this particular one um, is a little bowl that also come with the package. And what I did is I added a little bit of my um, uh, silk flower cutting of the leaves. So I put it green and then I also have one small piece of eraser that um, that does look like a little bit of a, um, a tempura or a um, fish cake. So this look like a bowl of noodles. So here are my dim sum, right? So, um, Another thing that I did is I also did all the little furniture according to the instructions, right? Uh, the only thing that I did is um, when it come with the instruction, they are unpainted. So unpainted will look like this color, which I think it's not as uniform. So what I did is I actually use a little bit of brown color and color all of them. So they look more uniform. So now let's assemble my little, um, restaurant. So here I have my um, little restaurant and what I like to do is put three round table in the middle. Maybe two in the back. Let me just lay that up so we can see better. Okay. So I'll put two in the back and of course we need tables for the um, for the customers. Okay. And then maybe this one has a long table, a long chair. And then another one in the front. And then these are the one in a uh, typical dim sum restaurant. Sometimes they will do um, takeout. So besides people who can buy the dim sum when they sit in the restaurant, sometimes they will have a little stand in the front and then they will sell them. So, and that would be a sign of the different choices that you have. Okay. okay. So here is my. Chinese dim sum restaurant that instead of just the yellow and white buns, I have a good variety of choices. So there you go.
I hope you enjoy how I customize the dim sum restaurant and I hope to make more and I'll show you in our next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.